hello guys i am very excited to share this game changing model from stability ai this model is called as stable audio open this model is an open source text to audio model for generating up to 47 seconds of samples and sound effects in this video we will be installing it locally and then we will play around with it with the help of this model users can create drum beats instrument riffs ambient sounds Foley and production elements. The model enables audio variations and style transfers of audio samples. This stable audio open is an open source model optimized for generating short audio samples, sound effects and production elements using text prompts. This release by Stability AI marks a key milestone as they further open portions of their generative audio capabilities to empower sound engineers, musicians and creative community so this allows anyone to generate up to 47 seconds of high quality audio data from a simple text prompt its specialized training makes it ideal for creating drum beats instrumentative uh, riff, uh, riffs and a lot of other audio samples for music production and sound design also you can fine tune this model on your own custom audio data for example if you're a drummer you could fine tune on samples of your own drum rec recordings to generate new beats and there are a lot of other use cases but let's try to get it installed locally and then see how it works and before i take you to my local system let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and the gpu card which i'm going to use for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu i will drop the link to their website in video's description Plus, I'm also going to put a discount coupon, which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted GPU. So do check them out. Really good offering from them. Let's go to my local system. On my local system, as you can see, I have Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM. Hopefully the model should fit on it, but let's see also i have conda installed if you don't have it please do install it it keeps everything nice simple and clean and separate from your local system let's clear the screen and let me create the conda environment which i'm simply calling a stable audio it doesn't take long it should be fairly quick and then we are going to activate it so that we could step into this stable audio environment that is also done let me clear the screen Let's now install all the prerequisites and there are few. For example, first we need to install Torch, Torch Audio, INOP. So let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a bit of a time, like two to three minutes. These are done. Let's also install the stable audio tools, which is required. And this stable audio tool is a library from Stability AI for audio inference and generation. So let's wait for it to get installed that took around a couple of minutes but it is installed now let's clear the screen let me launch my python interpreter and let's import these libraries which we have just installed so i have imported the libraries let me also set my device to cuda because i'm using gpu you can also try it out on cpu but i would highly suggest that you use it on the gpu okay so that is done now let's get our model which is of course in our case is our stable audio open version one so let me download it and you see that it has downloaded the model and there is one tensor which is it has downloaded it is downloading another tensor so let's wait for it to get finished shouldn't take too long model is downloaded let's specify the sample rate that is done let's also obtain the sample size from the models config which we have downloaded and that is also done let's put the model to device it means that just to load the model to our gpus which in our case is CUDA that is done let's also specify now our text and timing conditions that what is our prompt what sort of sound we want to create like I want to go with 128 beats per minute tech house drum loop you can of course select your own sound effect and i just want to go with 0 to 30 seconds 
that is also done and now let's try to generate the stereo audio from the model by simply using this command and these are the simple um, audio sort of thing let me generate it so you see it is generating it taking it takes a bit of a time but that is done awesome and while uh, just let's have a second here and let me try to explain what exactly is meant by this step 100 cfg scale so model is of course our model and these steps are sort of diffusion steps to take when generating audio higher number step typically result in higher quality audio cfg scale is 7 and that is a scaling factor for the model's output and if we um, set it more high the magnitude of output will be higher it means louder audio and then we have specified our conditioning that is just a signal used to guide the audio generation process it could be a mel spectrogram b track but we already have given the conditioning to house drum loop and then the number of audio samples to generate with sample size and then we have sigma min and sigma max these are the standard deviation values used in the diffusion process these values control the noise schedule which determine the amount of noise added to the audio at each diffusion step sampler type uh, shows um, it is used for audio generation and it is set to this dpmpp which is specific type of diffusion based sampler and then device is of course our gpu so we also have generated it let's also um, rearrange audio batch to a single sequence so just use this and then let's also peak normalize clip convert to int 16 and save to the file and these are the standard audio things which we are doing here you see we have already saved it and from here you can just simply save it to output dot, dot wave on our local system so that is also done now let me take you to my uh, gui of the same ubuntu system and then we will open this file and play it so this is the same gui of my ubuntu system and this is the output dot wave file in my home directory so let me play it So what do you think so this is a sound effect created by just a text prompt isn't it mind-blowing so now you can create your own soundtracks for your audio you can sing with it if you are building some animation you can just create uh, that one sky is the limit here you can already appreciate that how amazing this model could be so very impressed by it and another good thing is that for personal use i think it is free but of course for commercial use you would have to check with stability ai but even for commercial use i think this could be a blast so i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching